All right, guys, welcome to a holiday thing. We're doing a holiday thing. It is Festival of the Holidays here at Epcot, and we're gonna do we're gonna do the holidays. Actually, actually, you know what we are gonna do is we're gonna do the uh, drinks. We're gonna do all the drinks and all the treats. And we're gonna bring you along, and we're gonna try to do this like fast, like a barnstormer. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll see how it goes. Usually, I draw things out and make them last too long. Alright, so here we go. Here's our first batch of foods. These are from a couple of different areas. We got the uh, the holiday hearth and we've got Prost and we're gonna get some things from a festival favorite momentarily. We're, we're Jessica's in line for that but right now like I said this is the barnstormer so here we go. This is from the holiday hearth. This is the gingerbread milkshake. This is the non-alcoholic version so that way JR can have some of that. A salted caramel spaceship earth cookie. Jessica got a uh, Cider Boys Mad Bark Apple Cinnamon Hard Cider and I got the MIA Beer Company White Christmas IPA. So one cool thing about the gingerbread milkshake is it comes with an actual gingerbread cookie right on top there. JR's pretty stoked about that and so am I. How is it? Pretty good? It's good. Whoa. That's really good. It's really good? That better be the non-alcoholic one. Let's hope so. <laughs> Very much sugar. A lot. A lot of gingerbread flavor. I think there's a little tiny bit of cinnamon. Mm. He was right. That is pretty good. Isn't that cool? Look at that Spaceship Earth cookie. It's like Spaceship Earth with a little hat. So what is that? This little piece of holly. Well, this is like a salted caramel, I think salted caramel. The sugar on the top so is, is really nice, adds a nice crunch to it. And then the caramel, ginger, cream, whatever that is on the inside. Every, I like how it's not too, too sweet. It's kind of, kind of understated. And then from over at the old Prost stand, we got a couple of drinks. Jessica's not back yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and try my MIA. Uh, this is the White Christmas IPA. I don't, I'm not sure what the white Christmas is, but it definitely tastes like an IPA. Oh boy, Jessica's back. This is really good too. Very refreshing. So this is uh, Jessica's Cider Boys Mad Bark Apple Cinnamon Hard Cider. How How is that? It tastes like Christmas. Well, it tastes like cider, but cold and bubbly. We got a couple of things from the festival favorites here. This is the, uh, the duck confit and dumplings with a roasted Brussels sprouts and fig reduction. That thing looks ridiculous. Ridiculously awesome. Big reduction means Christmas. Over here we've got the blackened bass with white cheddar grits and okra and tomato and stew. Holy moly, that's gonna be good. Jessica's gonna go ahead and dig into that one. Alright, we have to come outside because Joy, is it called Joy or Joyful? 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 was in there rocking out, which was awesome, but it's just super loud. Um, definitely get you pumped up. Yes, this is part of the cookie stroll or whatever it is they're calling it this year. Is it the cookie stroll? I think so. So? So you get a sticker for that? A uh, stamp. Oh, a stamp. You gotta okay. get a stamp from the uh, people where you get the cookie from. There it is. It's actually not that gingerbready. Oh, really? I mean, I could tell that it's gingerbread, but it's really not like super duper gingerbread -y. Even on some of the other treats that we were having, that's what I noticed is that the flavors weren't so bold. It was kind of muted, which is nice. That means, uh, especially for a day like this, when we're gonna go around and eat a lot of stuff. That's our only first stop, guys. This is our only first stop. This is our only first stop. This is only our first stop. This is only our first stop. English, it's new to us. We'll get there. All right, so our next one here is gonna be from the Yukon Holiday Kitchen over here by uh, Canada. Look at that beautiful Canadian garden. That Victoria garden, that's it right there. But anyways, this is our spread. So we've got a, uh, a drink here. This is gonna be the 81 Bay Brewing Company Maple Cinnamon Coffee Beer. How fun is that? Of course, we had to get the peppermint pinwheel cookie, That, because that's part of the old, what is that? The cookie, the stroll. cookie stroll that we're doing. And then we ended up, because this is so beautiful. amazing looking, we got the Maple Boucher de Noel. I think that's how you say that. But man, look how cool that is. It's like a log, not that kind of log, but there's a nice little Christmas looking log on there and it's got a little mushroom on it and bark. Let's just hope that its bark is worse than its bite. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, James. So first up, Jessica's gonna dig into this log. Let's see what it's like on the inside. Is the bark kind of tough? Yeah. Ooh, look, it's got some jelly stuff inside. Everything goes really good together. It's creamy and sweet, chocolatey, Christmassy. How cool, it does look so Christmassy. Man, 
All right, next up, we're gonna try this pinwheel. What is this, a peppermint pinwheel? Yes. A peppermint pinwheel cookie. JR is gonna do the honors for us here. Oh, let's take a look at it. Oh, and in it goes, like on the end. So it's really just a twirled up cookie. It does taste pepperminty? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't really look like peppermint, does it? I think they might use like peppermint on the sides to stick the Oh yeah, things. look at that. Yeah, you can really see in there. That might be some peppermint behind them sprinkles. The peppermint cookie, it is very good and pepperminty, but it's a little dry. So I might have to wash it down with some of this maple cinnamon coffee beer. That's really good. You can smell the cinnamon more than you can taste the cinnamon. You taste more of the maple and the coffee. Dang, that's delicious. All right, so we got a couple of treats from the Omele Kaliki Maka Holiday Kitchen. First up is this Lomi Lomi Salmon with Tomatoes, Onions, Salmon Roe, Yuzu Mayonnaise, and Yucca Chips. And that doesn't mean yuck. To wash this thing down was this Melon Breeze with Spiced Rum. Don't ask me what's in it, I don't know. Except for the Spiced Rum part, but it looks fun because it's green. I would guess this would probably taste like a Honeydew Melon. Let's find out. Because it's green, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. Yes. Is that right? Honey it does taste like honey. This is pretty good. Good actually. job. You nailed it. And Jessica also picked up this Florida Orange Grove Sparkling Pineapple Wine. So she's had some of it and it does taste like pineapple? Yep, like pineapple and wine. Had a baby. Huh. Sparkling wine. Mm. That's actually really good. It's very, it's like fresh. Yeah. The yuzu mayonnaise is, has a little bit of a sweetness to it, yeah. and the onions, you know, they have the oniony, like, Cause then you, know ah, for sure. you know, yeah, ah, the like onion, ah, that's a good, uh, combination, combination, that's a good combo. Let's see how this thing washes it down. Ooh, that's yum. I'm surprised how unsweet these sweet things are. It's still pretty sweet. It's still pretty sweet, but... I thought it was going to be sweeter. This will get in the holiday spirit. Just a quick interlude between shots of uh, us eating. You may have noticed that we changed wardrobes. Yeah, that's because it was really hot. So we ended up buying some shirts, some t-shirts. Some They're still holiday shirts, so that's cool. We'll get back to the food now. Just in case you were wondering about the continuity of the shots. There you go. All right, so we did get the couple of treats here from, old, uh, it, it, we're in Norway, but we got these treats from uh, the Mexico Pavilion uh, kiosk here called Las Posadas Holiday Kitchen. We did get, get and, and uh, I don't mind my pronunciations, but JR got the uh, the Dolce de Leche Churros. It's a Delta, Dolce de Leche filled churros sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. I wonder how it's gonna be. <laughs> A churro, it's basically like, uh, it's kind of like, it's just fried dough in a little stick. Fried dough stick. It's like a donut stick. Is it pretty good though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's cool. So Jessica got the pumpkin spice margarita with Tamba Blanca tequila, Ojo de Tigre Mezcal, Nixta corn liqueur, pumpkin spice puree, and lime agave juice with cinnamon sugar. Grim. I know I jacked that completely up, but you get the gist of it. The thing that I got is actually, it says here on the cup here, Tulum. It's a Tulum Mexican craft beer with a black currant and ginger liqueur floater. How fun is that? Let's find out how good they are. First up is Jessica and her pumpkin spice margarita. Whew. Very pumpkin spicy. It's as basic as you think it would be. It's okay, it looks cool, and it is that time of year, so I think it's okay, it, it's passable. Now let's find out about this Tulum Mexican craft beer. It smells good. Mmm, it smells very gingery. I don't taste the ginger as much as I smell it, so it's more of a, ooh, uh, that is tasty. It's like aromatherapy right in your mouth. This is a pretty fun thing to do so far. Eat all the snacks and all the drinks and, uh, uh, all right, so we saw some pretty cool things so far, as far as drinks and snacks, and we ate them and drank them, and we also saw a couple of fun people. And now we gotta go find some more treats to eat and drink and show you, because that's what it's all about, right? Showing you the things. Is that what a vlog is? We, we show you the things that we're doing? 
feels like that's right. Are we doing this right? There's those trees doing their thing again. It must be that time of year where all the leaves fall off and the limbs just look like arms with fists yelling up into the sky in rebellion. Oh, the glue one is here? Yeah. Holy moly. All right, all right so we're, we're over at Bavaria. The hard apple cider, the blue wine. We're gonna get some stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so our next stop here at the old Bavaria Holiday Kitchen, one of the things that we got is this Linzer cookie, which just so happens to be part of the cookie stroll. So if you're doing the cookie stroll, look for the Linzer cookie. It's this one with the little snowflake cut out in the middle. But we did need something to wash these things down. This is the Possman Pure Hard Apple Cider. Oh, from Frankfurt, Germany. Germany. And I also picked up a little bit of this glue wine because, mm. no, we did not get the glue wine because it's warm outside. So we actually ended up getting, I don't know if I'm seeing that right, but the Iyengar Brewery Celebrator Doppelbach from Bavaria. And for a little bit of savoriness, we picked up this cheese fondue and a bread bowl. Look at that. There's cheese fondue yeah. in a bread bowl. It's got steamed baby vegetables and marble potatoes. How's that cheese? Cheesy. Cheesy. Ooh. How is this? Tastes like cider. Guess I'll have some of this. What was this again? Beer. Whatever it is. I'll put it right here. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, and we still got this Linzer cookie to eat. Look at that thing. What is that? Powdered sugar, sugar, sugar on maybe? top? That's gonna be a little bit of a mess. Oh, very sweet. That's different than these uh, other sweet things we've had that have been pretty sweet, but... It's like tart. The, the oh. jam thing is kind of tart. Yeah, it looks like it could be a tart. They could almost call this a tart. Alright, walking along on through Germany. Germany is always a very popular place during this time of year because of amazing pretzels and amazing beer at the all beer und Bresson, whatever that is. And of course, like, uh, you know, all the other things. But anyways, so here we have a couple of examples of holiday magic from the Tuscany Holiday Kitchen. The first thing we've got here is this Biancaneve, Biancaneve the Italian flatbread. Good grief. Uh, with mozzarella, asiago, and Parmesan cheese. So that looks pretty good. It's got a lot of cheese on there and it's bread. So bread and cheese is always delicious. The next thing we have up is going to be this right here. This is the Italian margarita with limoncello and tequila in there. Look at that. Fairly delicious. Rounding it off, we've got this Italian red sangria with Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, that sounds so fancy. And this is the old flatbread. Let's see how Jessica likes that thing. Cheesy bread. It's cheesy bread. Mm. Thin crushed cheesy bread. That doesn't sound horrible. No, it's good. Succulent <laughs> sample of salivatory satiations. Mmm. That's pretty good. It's a cheesy bread. It's like a cracker. It does taste like a cheese cracker. Sure could use something to wash this down with. Oh, I got something for you right here. Which one? Yes. That is thick looking. We is right. All the way down. <laughs> this is a margarita? Yep. That's right with Limoncello the straw. with tequila. Oh man, that's tart. These things are really getting me today. I've had a couple of these cold frozen drinks today, I think. And um, they're making the brain freeze happen. You have to have a brain to have As a brain freeze. As a gift to you, we wish to present music and dance from the state of Jalisco. Now, Jalisco is important to us for two main reasons. Number one, it is the birthplace of mariachi music. And number two, it's the birthplace of tequila. From the state of Jalisco. So without further ado, Thank you, Mariachi Cobra. One of my favorite things about Epcot is Mariachi Cobra. Thank you guys. You are amazing and I'm glad that you're still you're still here. Thank you. Look at that lovely tree here in the America Pavilion. 
And look at that, the lanterns. They kind of look like they have little candles inside of that. Mariachi Cobre is always super wonderful, but man, Voices of Liberty, that's just something else, isn't it? Every time, it'll bring a tear to your eye. I mean, not me, because I'm a dude. The uh, American Holiday Table, that's their uh, little thingy they got up. We did get a cookie. This is going to be the chocolate crinkle cookie, which is part of the cookie stroll. This is a shipyard eggnog white porter from Clearwater, Florida. That big one there, Jessica actually picked up a uh, Ace Space Bloody Orange Cider from old uh, Regal Eagle, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, and you know, just behind us, you can never go wrong with mariachi coke. One thing I do wonder is if this eggnog porter actually tastes like eggnog or has any hint of eggnog esqueness in it. Essence? Esqueness? Either or. Ooh. It does. I would think eggnog would make it like thicker than this. It looks a little thin, so I almost thought I got the wrong beverage. But uh, that is eggnog. That is eggnog. Weird. How's that thing? It's like a brownie. It's like a brownie? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a soft cookie? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, it's pretty deep inside of there. That looks like a, a black hole and or a brownie. Do you think maybe I could have a, a bite of that? Mm, fine. Okay. Thanks, man. You're so nice. <laughs> the flavor is kind of like a brownie. The texture is like a cookie. At the beginning, when my tongue was analyzing the flavors inside of there, there was something a little weird about it. But I mean, it ended nicely, but in the beginning, it was a little weird. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, we're gonna go in here to get JR a little something. This is the Katsura Grill in Japan. All right, so we're gonna get some uh, stuff in here. They got stuff. They got stuff to eat in here. Plus, it is cool looking. We're gonna get something here at the Okatsura Grill. So we're gonna have some sushi, ramen. JR's gonna have some teriyaki. And then, of course, there's Jessica's sushi tree. Sushi tree. It's called a Chirashi Sushi Tree. It's actually from the Shiwasu Holiday Kitchen here in Japan. What does she think of it? I don't know. She's, she's enjoying it immensely. She's smiling. She's definitely enjoying it. It's got sashimi grade tuna, salmon, ikura, and yellowtail with vegetables decorated on a bed of rice. It's decorated on a bed of rice. How about a that? Christmas tree bed of rice. Nice. Ooh, look, this is coming in for, ooh. <laughs> mm. It's spicy. Yes. And in that magical nighttime, just outside of Morocco, we're here at the Sapphire Kitchen. I'm gonna get, uh, I don't know what we're getting. It's at a cocktail and I can't pronounce it, but it's basically a, a beignet of some sort. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Right by Morocco, there is the Sapphire Holiday Kitchen and here we have the Svinge. It's S-F-E-N-J, Svinge. But this is a warm beignet with cream, cinnamon, sugar, and chocolate sauce. That does look pretty darn good. I think I would like to have some of that, but more, more, more realistically, this is JR's thing. But uh, hopefully he'll be a nice person and let James have some. But first, of course, let's see how he likes it. You're not sure about it? It's all right. Really? Yeah. Why is it just all right? Whatever's the inside. The inside cream? Yeah. That's good. You guys are crazy. So that's all you then. Jessica also got this poinsettia drink. It's called the Andalusian Poinsettia Cocktail. Sparkling wine, orange liqueur, and cranberry juice topped with it. orange blossom water. Mmm. Tastes like I just chewed on a flower petal. It really, it tastes like I just ate a... Potpourri. I get what you're saying. It is kind of like potpourri, but not quite as extreme as just potpourri. And then just on the other side of Morocco here, we've got the booth of Lachem. I don't know how to say it, but I want to say Lachem. There's a couple of things that we're going to get though. I had to do the holiday cookie because it is part of the cookie stroll. So this is the black and white cookie. We've got a couple other savory things. Uh, one of the things was pastrami on rye with house-made pickles and deli mustard. That Sounds delicious. We also got the smoked salmon potato latke. Lucky. What? Lucky? 
Tastes like smoked salmon and potatoes. Nice. So next up we have ourselves a wonderful looking pastrami on rye. Actually it looks really good. It's got a fun looking pickle on top there. It's kind of spicy. That's what she said. I can really taste the the goodness in there. I don't know where they get this from. It might be just old Publix pastrami, who knows, but it tastes really good. Maybe just because we're here. And the bread, the rye, I can taste the rye in it too. It's like you can taste all the flavors. And I really like that part of it. This is a good sandwich. I enjoy this thoroughly. The pickle, along with the rye, pastrami, and the old sauce in there. That's a winner. Mmm. Look at Morocco. Black and white cook. Is it better than you remember? Yes. But I have to try this side. Okay. This is the side I didn't like. Okay. Because it was like lemony or something? Yeah. Mm, it's still got that lemon flavor in it. But it's better. I like it way more. I don't know why. Yeah, I feel like we didn't like this last year, but it was we felt weird about it because every, everybody else was raving about it. All right. It is better than last year. Don't know why. All right, so here in France, oh man, I don't remember what the name of the France place is. I got to use my cheat sheet here. Le Marché de Noël Holiday Kitchen. How about that? So, oh, Jessica's jumping in already. But the only thing we did get is the frozen hot chocolate martini with Grey Goose vanilla, vodka, and chocolate milk. That sounds like it'd be a good combination. It is a great and combination. by the look of Jessica's face, I think it's pretty okay. Man, look at all that. It's got that whipped topping on top of there, and then that chocolate, and that fun candy cane looking straw. That's fun. So it definitely tastes like chocolate, and I could taste the vodka in it. it tastes like an adult chocolate milkshake. Good. There's not like a special flavor or anything like that. It's just like a chocolate milkshake flavor. This doesn't compare to the Grand Marnier slush. Really? Well, I like chocolate a lot. No. The Grand so. Marnier slush is way better than this. Bye. Ooh, oh, you're you're really leaving? Yeah. To get you something else? Yep. Okay. And then one last little thing we did here in the old UK. We got the, the there's tea. This is like a toddy, like Christmas a hot toddy. toddy. A Christmas toddy. That's nice. So it's got tea. We went to the tea shop here in the UK, the Twinnings Tea Shop, and got this. I do not remember what was in this, but I know that it is warm and it's pretty chilly outside and it smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas. Mm. It's like a tea with uh, cinnamon, oh, because there is an actual cinnamon stick in there, but like honey, I taste honey. They put some sort of alcoholic thing in there. I don't really know what it was. This really hits the spot. That warmth is uh, extra warming. I wish this glass was bigger. It's a tiny one. I don't have giant hands, I'm not a giant. So these aren't giant hands. It's just a tiny glass. Just a little tiny glass. Cup, mug, whatever. It's cool that it's got the little handle there. That's fine. And on that note, this has been a really wonderful day. Hopefully we've shown you all the snacks, at least that we had. There's more to be had, but there's a lot of snacks that we had. And what our thoughts were on those particular snacks, thank you for coming along. We appreciate each and every one of you. and we. We'll see you more than likely in the next one. I mean, I mean, we really won't know if you're there or not, but we'd appreciate it if you would be. In any case, we'll see you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yep. That's pretty cool. Or should I say hot?